I don't mind. Yeah. Whatever comes to me through the universe. Does it matter? Yeah, I've got. I've got my own. I've got little now. Does it matter that oh, no, 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 that's fantastic. My name is Maria Magdalena Campos Pons. I was born in Cuba. I have lived in the United States for the last 30 years. I am a Cornelius Vanderbilt professor of art at Vanderbilt University, and I am living now in Nashville, Tennessee. Decorative or edible? Sorry. Edible. Edible. So we are in the, in the ground of the village at, here at Montalvo. And I am planting with a group of volunteers from the residency a garden where I have titled Imole Blue Field of Memory. Imole Blue is done from uh, earth, blue earth, Imole in Yoruba, and blue, of course, English, blue earth. I am thinking about uh, a question of the air seen from above, and we know it's primarily blue. The map that I am using to build the garden. It's a map that was a classified document for many years and it contained some of the aerial image that really were um, paramount for the beginning of the missile crisis of October between Cuba, United States and Russia. The reason that I am interested in that image, uh, when I found that image was in the archive, was um, it really is an image that is a, a first size, beautiful, it have a kind of a ritualistic um, a, a impression and it's a kind of a benign when you see it. The majority of the work that I do is work about healing and work about questioning a, a aspect of the past that is still impacting us today. And I saw that this was an image with such a currency due to the all the tensions that exist in the world today with nuclear proliferation. And at this moment, in the last few months, there was so much intensifying of a kind of aggra aggravating conversation between the United States, North Korea, Iran, all of that. But more than anything, my, my intent with the, with the peace is to establish a sense of conversation. I call the piece, besides being calling it Mole Blue, I, uh, there is a performative aspect of it that is just asking people to write in a book their feelings, their concerns, uh, their hopes for the better communication between all of us. Thank you for this moment. Ancestro. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to breathe one day more and to be a witness of the beauty of the creation. To us human, be better to each other. Be true to each other. We all are dust and we will become dust. I hope that when the people come here, uh, they may find information about this garden that looks like a, a mandala, a, a ritualistic, beautiful, but then when they go back and read and research a little bit, they found the really the, where the image come from, and it prompt to conversations about what is happening today, how much a, uh, a escalation of aggression had took place, but also how 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 present is still uh, uh, those discussions and these conversations and this. The problems are the core of that particular, the, the origin of that particular map. It's a piece for healing, it's a piece for hope, it's a piece for, a, for better communication among us all the people, and it's a piece for, I hope, for enjoyment of families and visitors, and, and to continue the conversation uh, of art and people and the implication of political decisions and our own uh, responsibility as citizens of a nation and of the world. Do we have all of there?